Elon Reeve Musk is a business magnate and investor. He is the founder, CEO, and chief engineer of SpaceX, angel investor, CEO, and product architect of Tesla, founder of The Boring Company, and co-founder of Neuralink and OpenAI. With an estimated net worth of around $238 billion as of September 26, 2022, Musk is the wealthiest person in the world according to both the Bloomberg Billionaires Index and Forbes's Real-Time Billionaires List. Since the full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine, Elon Musk has openly supported Ukraine, both in social networks and actions. On February 27, on the fourth day of the war, Elon opened Starlink terminals for Ukraine. The next day, satellite communication has already arrived in Ukraine. On March 1, the satellites were launched. On March 3, Elon tweeted that he was helping Ukraine fix internet outages. On the same day, the MASP team updated the software to reduce energy consumption. March 5th support from Elon. Later, Elon refused to block Russian news sources, as he is a supporter of absolute freedom of speech. On March 6, President Zelensky held talks with Elon, discussed the next batch of Starlink and possible space projects. So if you have time after the war, you're very welcome. I invite you. Yeah, so. That sounds good. Well, I look, I look forward to, to visiting once things are... In the subsequent time, Ukraine received new batches of Starlink stations. On March 16, Dmitry Medvedev stated that the aiming and adjustment of fire on the Moskva cruiser was carried out with the help of Starlink satellites and they must be destroyed. On April 11, Elon announced Russian hacker attacks on Starlink systems. On July 26, Musk commented on the message about the plan of the Russian Federation to leave the ISS project with the words, Bone Voyage. But in October, something went wrong. Elon tweeted his formula for ending the war. He proposed to fulfill all the conditions of the Russian Federation, to give up Crimea, providing it with water, repeat referendums and Ukraine should become neutral. What happened? U.S. Congressional Advisor Paul Massaro wrote in response that the war would end only under the following conditions. Ukraine returns all its territories and Russia is demilitarized, decolonized and denuclearized. Netizens did not keep themselves waiting long. Then Elon decided to replay and open the vote. Zelensky also opened his poll. The Lithuanian president also reacted. Then Musk gave back. After a couple of days something went wrong again. Then Elon argued with the Financial Times. He also wrote about nuclear war. Following all this, information appeared that Elon communicated with Putin before publishing his tweets. Musk denies this communication. And the last news, Elon said that they would no longer be able to finance Starlink services in Ukraine. Maybe he got offended. Many say that before all the tweets, Tesla shares fell by 8% and this story is a distraction from this fall in shares and falling sales of Tesla. Who knows what's going on in his head? Is it related to business or politics? In any case, Ukraine is grateful to Elon Musk for his help. He helped us stand at the most critical moment of the war. A. What is happening with the world? Thanks for watching, like and subscribe to the channel. Also write comments, what do you think happened? See you soon.